everyone and welcome to episode 3 and in today's video we're going to be talking about should you go entirely plant-based or should you adopt an entirely plant-based diet and I'm going to start off by saying no you should not. Why? Well the reason why I believe that you shouldn't go plant-based is because of the gastrointestinal discomfort that it may cause you. You're going to, you're going to get bloating, you're going to get gas, and this is mainly caused by ch chain carbohydrates, hydrates. So they're uh, foods like beans, onions, um, avocados, uh, trail mix, so like peanuts, stuff like that. Because that's a you know a big part of a lot of people's diets, that does cause a lot of of uh, discomfort when you're trying to transition to vegan or vegetarian or you know flexitarian for that matter. What I do believe that you should do is definitely try it out because going plant-based, partially um, plant-based, I'd say 20 to 30 percent, will help you to develop a habit of eating more vegetables. So I did a test for 30 days to um, to go plant-based, and what I did was I just kind of eased into it by um, upping my veggie intake and my fiber intake. Now it's the fiber in the plant transition to a plant-based diet that's going to be the toughest thing for you um, because most people are not eating enough fiber. Males are supposed to eat approximately 40 or 35 grams to 40 grams of fiber a day and then women are, uh, or females are supposed to be eating probably 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day and that's you know that's that's a decent amount of fiber so and you know throughout your entire diet you know um, it's it's easy to get in if you're eating enough you know oats potatoes and and beans or legumes so I did a test um, for the plant-based diet for 30 days and I made vegan chilies so instead of normally putting in ground beef in there or chicken I would just have straight beans and lentils and if you're someone that does already get gas and bloating every time you you know increase your fiber intake then this will be a, definitely a transition for you if this is something you want to try out but again I would advise against going entirely plant-based I know there's a lot of um, people advocating for plant-based diets and sure they can they can give you more yes they give you more energy yes they're anti-inflammatory but over the long haul it, it can be very uh, tough on your gut and even me taking a probiotic it did not suffice so hope you guys all enjoyed this video my blog article will be in the description below and again uh, if you have any questions comments uh, uh, put them in, below the description hope you guys all enjoy, uh, like this video if you like this video be sure to subscribe and give me some comments and thumbs up